Today marks the 50th anniversary of Title IX, a law designed to protect fair competition for women. But the fight is far from over as the debate over transgender athletes rages on. In just a few hours, athletes and parents and advocates and organizations will rally in D.C. And our next guests will be attending the Our Bodies, Our Sports rally. Former Democratic Congresswoman and 2020 presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard, as well as college athletes Riley Gaines and Maddie DeBose. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So, Riley, I know you swam at the University of Kentucky and you've had a successful career. Congratulations. And you tied with Leah Thomas for the NCAA championship. How do you feel about this and why is this rally so important? Right, this is something that I'm definitely passionate about, as well as all the other female athletes at that meet. Um, it's just incredibly disheartening to go into a meet um, racing a biological male and kind of already feeling that defeated feeling. And so to be here and to be able to speak about this, I'm just really privileged and I hope I can use my voice. I mean, Riley, to, to swim at your level, you've had to really give up so many things in your life to swim every single day. And it's, a, it's incredible. So how do you feel when you're competing against someone who is biologi biologically a man and could be beating you in that, in that event? Right. It's a total slap in the face, honestly. Um, the amount of sacrifice and time commitment um, that swimming takes, it, it's a, a lifelong journey, honestly. And so to have someone kind of step in who doesn't have to work as hard, who doesn't have to make those same exact sacrifices, um, it's just, it's a slap in the face. Maddie, how about you? You're shaking your head yes. You're a track athlete. How has this affected you? Yeah, no, 100% what she said. I mean, you put in hours and hours, twice a day, lifting, fueling your body, staying on top of recovery, and uh, just for a biological male to just come in and be taking these places from female athletes is uh, disheartening, it's ridiculous, and I can't believe it's even something that is happening. And were you worried about speaking out about this, about retaliation, or how it might make some of your friends feel? Yeah, I mean, I think there are uh, unfortunately consequences that come along with this. You know, it worries you for future jobs or what people are going to say about you in person or online or all the things that come along with it. But I think most of us here would agree that it is worth the fight um, and it is uh, worth fighting so that future female athletes don't have to. All right, let's bring in Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi, the, uh, the Our Bodies, Our Sports rally is at 11 a.m. at the Freedom Plaza in D.C. I know you will be there. Why is this important to you? Uh, because it is the height of hypocrisy that we are in this place today where those who claim to be champions for women and who claim to be feminists are actually denying the objective reality and truth that there are differences between men and women, specifically biological, physiological differences. Uh, and that's what these athletes are facing, you know, the, this kind of crazy hypocrisy and this denial of the truth and reality. Um, the action that the Biden administration is expected to announce today essentially erases the progress that Title IX has brought to women and girls for 50 years, setting us back and, and pointing out how dangerous it is when we have the most powerful person in this country denying objective reality of the difference between men and women biologically. Uh, it, it, it basically says that there is no such thing as truth, there is no such thing as women, and we cannot allow that to happen. That's why I'm going there today to stand with these female athletes. Chelsea, what is your message to the lawmakers? What do you want them to do? Congress has a responsibility to take a stand to protect women and girls, period. Uh, yes, in competitive sports, but in so many other realms as well. That's what Title IX brought to us. And, and when you look at the progress that's been made, but even taking it a step further and saying, hey, uh, to, to have the President of the United States making a statement that uh, we deny the objective reality of the difference between men and women cannot be allowed to stand. Mm -hmm. Members of Congress from both parties need to be as courageous as these female athletes you just heard from and say, no, enough is enough. We will not allow this to happen for today's athletes as well as for generations to come. Riley, how did you feel about the swimming organization saying you have to transition before the age of 12 if you want to compete as a biological man? I think it's a step in the right direction. Obviously, having this set age of 12 years old is a bit scary, and it, it does raise the question, will parents try and sway this? You know, it's a, it's a huge decision that children just don't understand at that age and so it is a bit scary but I think personally it's unlikely that there will be a lot of children doing this and so that's why I think it's still a step in the right direction. Okay well Tulsi, Riley, 
And Maddie, thank you so much for joining us.